Lightmatica schematics can be great. You can copy and save your builds, you can produce them later, and you can share them with other people. You can even use the Create Mod Schematic Cannon to build your Lightmatica schematics for you. But you can't just use a Lightmatica schematic, you have to do something special to make it work first. By using the schematic table, we can take an empty schematic and put it right there, and we can use our schematics in our schematic folder to turn this into a full schematic. And there we go, we have our full schematic. And you'll see right here, this is the schematic that it produced. And you see when I hover over it, there's two options there. There's the 31sphere.nbt and then there's mayastatue.nbt. You can switch between whatever's here with your scroll wheel. You can also use the open folder button here to open your schematic folder, which is in your Minecraft folder. That's where you wanna store all of your schematics. Now, when Lightmatica saves a schematic, it saves it as a .lightmatica file, not .nbts, which is what is needed to make a schematic with a schematic cannon. But Lightmatica, being an amazing mod, has already thought of this problem, and they've given us a way to convert our .lightmatica files into .nbt files with ease. Let me show you how to do it. Now, if you press by default M on your keyboard, it should bring up your Lightmatica menu. And you'll see we have all these options here. One of the options is Schematic Manager. Go ahead and click on that. That'll bring up your Lightmatica Schematic Manager. And here's all my Lightmatica schematics. I've got a whole bunch of them. We've got a couple in here though. See, there's Maya statue and it's got a V next to it. And we've also got 31 Sphere, which has a V next to it. The V means vanilla schematic. We can take any of these existing Lightmatica schematics and turn them with ease by simply left clicking on whatever one you want to switch. Go down here to schematic and click it once and you'll see it says vanilla structure. That's what you want to see. And then go over to export as, name it whatever you want, and then go up here to save schematic, click save schematic, schematic exported as iron farm. And now you can see we also have a vanilla version of our iron farm schematic. So now if we go back to our schematic table and we hover over the bar, we can see there's now Iron Farm. So take your empty schematic, place it in the empty slot, make sure the one you want's highlighted, and click the check. It turns it into a schematic, and when we select the schematic in our inventory, you can see it's got a bounding box that's the size of the schematic. If it didn't work, you wouldn't see this box. But then pressing right click brings up the schematic and you can see it right there. Now this isn't really there, you can see I can walk through it. But this is a schematic that your schematic cannon can use to build whatever you want. So there you go, a super easy way to convert your schematics. Definitely try this one out if you use the schematic cannon. It's a lot of fun. Just watching the machine build something for you is really cool too. It's pretty much as cool as this amazing tree farm I made over on our Create series. So if you want to check that out, there's a link. As for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial, and I'll see you next time.